In today's video, I'm going to show you how the inventor and remote interoperability works. Now, bear in mind, with Inventor and Revit, when you're using this uh, interoperability, you need to be on the same version. So 2024 works with 2024, 2023 and 2022 Inventor and Revit, and then as well as 2022. Um, and it must be 22.4, I think. So now what I've got is I'm going to show you how I can take this Revit model, take it into Inventor as for reference so that I can place my Inventor assembly where it needs to be, and then bring it back into Revit to make sure that the architect knows exactly where my components are going to go and what it looks like. So the first thing that I'm going to do over here is I'm just going to go and create some walls uh, as a reference over here. And what I can do over here is just start the wall process. So there we go. Let's maybe make it that high, down, and to the side over here. And then let's go maybe put in a door. Okay, so put a door in, just make it look a bit more realistic as well as a window. Okay, so once that's been done, um, I can save this. Okay, and then we're gonna go through to Inventor so that I can start the, um, the modeling process. So what I've done is I've opened up an assembly over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first place the um, the Revit file using the AnyCAD technology that Autodesk offers. Now, AnyCAD technology is basically allows us to grab a whole lot of files that were created in different software and bring it through either as an XREF, if you know what AutoCAD is, or by importing that model as well. By XREFing or AnyCADing it in, if the model does change, say for instance, the Revit model changes, it will update in my Adventure Assembly as well. Okay, so there's my from Revit, and what I'm going to do is just select open. And what it's going to do is start the import process over here. Now, it will give us two options, either to reference the model in or to convert the model. If I convert the model, it's going to break the link between the two. If I reference the model, then I'm able then to obviously update it in Revit and then see the updates in Inventor. Now, what you see over here is that it's brought in a couple different categories, so doors, walls, and windows. So if I don't want to see the doors and walls inside Inventor, I just uncheck them and it'll just bring the walls in. I actually want to see everything, so I'm going to click on OK and bring this model in. Once the model has been imported, I will see a preview of it. I can right click and then just place grounded at origin. So what it's done now, it's now placed the origin of my Revit file with the origin of my inventor assembly. Now we need to bring in the inventor file that I created. So I'm gonna go place, browse for that inventor file, which is my stand and select open. Now when I bring it in over here, I'm just gonna place it down and then I'm gonna use my normal constraints to go and position it. So with this, I'm going to say, right, that front wall over there must reside on this back face. And then we want the bottom to be aligned with each other as well. So there and there. Okay. Let's see what happened there. Okay. So constrain. that face and that face and then if I had a work plane I could then position it somewhere but you can see I can still drag it up and down over here okay so once that's done and we're happy with it we can then now take it back through to Revit so to do that we go to the simplify um, command at the top over here and with the simplify you'll see there I've got you know a couple of presets if I wanted to uh, but because I want to actually see everything, I'm actually going to not replace with envelopes. I'm not going to exclude any parts, going to not remove any features. And just and the output type will be a Revit model. And then make sure that when I save it, I go and save it in the same folder over here. So let's go to stand. Okay, let's just overwrite that one. Once that's done, I select OK. Okay, so now it exports it to a Revit project file, so an RVT. I have been asked previously, are you able to export these as RFA or Revit family files as well? Yes, you can. Um, that is through the, the, BIM, um, the BIM export process that you have in Inventor as well.
Okay, so once that's done, let's go take a look at what it looks like in Revit. So open up my Revit, okay, and then I'm going to go to my Insert tab and I'm going to link the Revit file. Go to my file that I've just created. And what you'll notice is it'll plonk it down, it'll insert it at exactly the same place that it's inserted in my inventor file over there. Okay. Let's take a look at it in 3D. And there we go. So once again, Autodesk has come up with a, a really nice workflow um, for when working with these these different uh, the different software packages, and especially now as you see that you know more engineers and architects are working together and making sure that you know everything um, fits together very nicely, and you don't have any issues when going onto site or when components get brought in to decorate a place. Thanks very much for watching.